Today is unfiltered thoughts. Don't know what the topic is gonna be, but I'm gonna start it right now. So we need some unfiltering thingy mop overs. So today's unfiltered thoughts episode in the park or at the park near the lake and watching the top of the sun top of the sun set wearing Vince's old t-shirt is about being your own self I feel like when you look at stuff on social media or you find a new influencer new youtuber that you like to watch you kind of like pick up their little quirks and then you kind of like become kind of like them because you like them and you want to be like them and then when they start talking about individuality or they start talking about finding your purpose your identity it makes you question like who am i really and this all goes back to like making life decisions making drastic decisions and thinking like oh you know like, am I doing the right thing? Is this my passion? What do I really want to do with my life? Am I going to succeed? And it makes me think, like, your career and how you make money is just so part, a huge part of your identity, even though it's not just a part of what makes you happy. Success. Everyone wants to succeed. So we tend to do research on certain things that successful people have done and then we try to mimic those things or we try to follow in their footsteps but at the end of the day what makes you stand out and makes you feel authentic makes you an authentic person and genuine so that people that want to look up to you will look up to you is really being yourself and then at the end of the day even if you succeed in mimicking somebody who is successful at the end of the day if you're not being yourself it's exhausting if you're not being yourself it's going to show and it's gonna feel very taxing to continue doing being that thing that you're trying to mimic that isn't really you got my mask I got it at Target it's kid size so I have to add a little bit more elastic but it fits me look that finding your identity is like always a work in progress. You know, you change, you find out what you like, you find out what you don't like, you have certain friends, you lose certain friends, you feel like you were just like somebody and then you lose that kind of same interest and then you develop a different group of friends. But thinking back now, I feel like there is a true core. I feel like there is a true, true identity of who you are. I've always had the same kind of friends and the ones that I can look back and find how toxic they were, they became growing pains, they became uh, building blocks to what I didn't like and what I knew was not compatible and how it made me more tolerable of certain people even if they didn't deserve to be tolerated. Going back to figuring out who you are and your self-identity and your individuality and being inspired and motivated and affected by other people that you might look up to or you might aspire to be i think at the end of the day those things are really great but it's so important to identify like what things are you because you need to be comfortable with those things because at the end of the day you can only copycat another person so much because that's not who you are and you'll find yourself being very tired because you're trying to be something else when it's so easy to just like what you like and not like what you don't like.
I'm having rosé at the beach. I mean, at the beach. <laughs> at the lake. I think I saw a UFO. It's hard to grasp, you know? Because, like, sometimes I know myself, and then sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna be it. Like, who cares if someone doesn't like me? Like, who cares? You shape yourself to be the person that you need to be. You know, you need to act a certain way so that you get hired on a job interview. You're not really like truly your sometimes inappropriate, sometimes ignorant, disrespectful self. But you, but is that enough? I envy those people that can be truly themselves with their parents, truly with themselves with like family. And so I started to think about, I was like, I want my videos to showcase not showcase like a curated version of me hey mister curated version of me but instead a version that i was showed to my older sister who i am very close to even though we don't live close to one another anymore where i could just like talk to her about anything and she can just be comfortable telling me about anything and i wanted to provide that kind of connection on through my youtube as far as my business and what I have to offer to this channel, like I hope that I, I can make other women feel comfortable to, to ask me questions about construction related things, about what I know about home repair and handyman stuff mm -hmm. and plumbing stuff that I'm gonna continue to learn about, you know? I want people to be comfortable asking because they can see that a woman or a girl or a person in their 30s or whoever like someone that they can kind of see and connect with or resemble in some way they'd be comfortable enough to ask me questions if they want to finding someone that look like you and then learning from them instead of like finding some old man not that there's anything wrong with old men teaching handyman stuff but it, there's a difference between learning handyman stuff from someone that look like you rather than a dad because not a lot of women are doing handyman stuff handy woman stuff so what's the takeaway here it's easiest to be yourself to just not think about it and to just naturally unapologetically because why would you apologize by reading yourself but you know who you surround yourself with and how comfortable they make you feel determines how confident you are in yourself to just say what's on your mind and be yourself but you know where you are and how you've actually been portraying who you want to be might attract the wrong people that might say oh don't be like that or that's weird that behavior is weird that opinion is weird and then that might cloud you from being who you really are but at the end of the day as long as you keep working towards figuring it out that's all you really can do to be yourself because that's the easiest and most natural thing that you should do so work on it and be truthful and be honest about your opinions and even if you feel like you're going to turn off some people by being who you are by being truly how you feel and what you want to say just know even if some people don't like you you'll find a group of people or you'll find a handful of people or maybe just one best friend that's going to understand you and completely know where you're coming from even if you have certain and some agreements and that's the beauty of life it might take a while to get there but you will get there i promise there's like a billion bajillion people in the world and you'll get there you'll find somebody whether that be your lover or just a gay best friend <laughs> there always will be someone that will connect with you so don't worry about it be yourself it's the easiest thing to do and that you know how to do it and you're the best at it so